Guys, Chris Murphy with Stability Engineering. We're out here today at a fire damaged apartment building. Uh, the only thing remaining is a slab and we're here checking out to see if it's uh, worth keeping or it needs to be demoed and uh, completely rebuilt. So we're out here today trying to verify some footings, um, check the slab condition, check the subgrade of the soil. So we're using a hammer drill at, at some of these old wall locations to try to identify what the uh, thick and slab locations were. Here we've pre-drilled a hole. Right now we have it about two inches of depth. And we're going to try to identify if it's a, a four-inch slab, which is what we've located elsewhere, if it's uh, possibly a thick and slab in a low-bearing wall. location similar to another one after about two inches of uh, compacted and uh, consolidated slab we just have ag loose aggregate so here punch through the slab Penetration past the four inch slab. So here it's just a slab, it's not uh, thickened, There's, this is not a load bearing wall. Uh, over here we've pre drilled a couple places at the turn down condition to try to identify what the turn down slab is. Here we, uh, we drilled two holes, one at 16 inches, at which point we reached subgrade at four inches, so it's just a slab here at 16 inches. We drilled another hole at 10 inches off the edge of slab. We reached as far down as we could drilling, which is approximately nine inches. So from that, we're going to make the assumption that there's a 12-inch turndown thickened slab here at this location, and then comes up pretty quickly to the slab itself. So again, this is Chris Murphy with Stability Engineering uh, doing a uh, slab and foundation inspection using the hammer drill and soil probe.